export sales contract. Export sales contract can be defined as the initial document in any international transaction. It details the specifics of the sales agreement between the buyer and the seller. In Indian context, an exporter is supposed to show a documentary proof of an export contract to secure special export facilities. In this lesson, we will learn the nature of export sales contract and various provisions of INCO terms. We will also learn the methods of settlement of disputes. After studying this lesson, you should be able to understand nature of export sales contract, condition of export contract, methods of dispute settlement. A contract has been defined in the section 2H of the Indian Contract Act 1872. In simple terms, a contract is an agreement which can be enforced by law. An agreement, on the other hand, takes place when a valid offer has been made and accepted by the other party without any qualification. This process of contract formation is valid all over the world. Though the offer acceptance sequence appears logical and simple, sometimes complexities arise. There are no universally acceptable norms as to the form of export contract. It need not be a formal document signed by both the parties, nor does it need to be stamped. In export transactions, there are two nations, that of the exporter and the importer. Therefore, the question arises which country's law will apply to an export contract. This is a very complex problem, but the principle generally followed is that the parties to the contract may agree naturally about the applicability of particular country's law. The country chosen must be either that of the exporter or the importer. In special circumstances, a third country's law may be chosen provided that the country has something to do with the contract. For a majority of products being exported from India, the aspects that should be covered under the general conditions include the ones shown on the screen. Indian Council of Arbitration, which has been set up by the Ministry of Commerce, Government of India, has developed a model contract form for the benefit of Indian exporters. This model is appropriate for most small and medium enterprises exporting standard products. There are many reasons due to which a dispute may arise between an exporter and importer. A common cause for dispute relates to quality. Under most contract terms, the importer will have an opportunity to inspect the goods only when the consignment reaches him. By that time, Lai may have already paid the values of the goods to the exporter. Therefore, if on inspection the goods are found to be not as per contract terms, he will reject the consignment and sue for damages. Other common causes for disputes are failures to ship on time, refusal to ship because of changes in market conditions, government regulations restricting exports, etc. There are two well-recognized methods for settlement of disputes, that is, litigation and arbitration. Litigation is not suitable for settlement of trade disputes due to time-consuming process, high costs, and uncertainty of the final decision. The basic limitations of litigations are Court process is proverbially slow, time-consuming, and formalistic. Avoidable necessity of expert witnesses and other evidence. Inconvenience to the parties. Adverse public image. Bitterness and disruption of trade relationships. Unfamiliarity of the laws and procedures of different countries. These limitations encourage the arbitration for the settlement of various disputes. The basic advantages of arbitration are quickness, inexpensiveness, promotion of goodwill, guarantor of privacy, and so on. This is the time to check the progress. 
Answer if the statement given are true or false. A contract is an agreement which can be enforced by law. Right or wrong? Wrong. In co-terms, comprise of the rights and obligations of the seller. Right or wrong? Wrong. Litigation comprises of the machinery for the settlement of dispute through the judiciary process. Right or wrong? Wrong. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. A contract is an agreement which can be enforced by law. In export sales contract, various parties involved in international transaction put down the terms of agreement clearly to avoid misunderstanding and disputes. In domestic sales contract, the proper law will always be the Indian law, whereas in export contract, the parties to the contract agree mutually about the ap applicability of a particular country's law. In order to avoid disputes and confusion in international transactions, the International Chamber of Commerce, ICC Paris, has developed Incoterms. Incoterms set out the rights and the obligations of the buyer and the seller. Incoterms include X works, free carrier, free alongside ship, free on board, cost and freight, cost insurance and freight, carriage paid to, carriage and insurance paid to, deliver, ex quo, delivered, duty unpaid, delivered, duty paid, etc. Incoterms have been almost universally adopted. Most exporters have developed standard general conditions of exports to be incorporated in an export contract. This simplifies the day-to-day -day export operations. Indian Council of Arbitration has also developed a model form for the benefit of Indian exporters. If the parties use special trade terms, the duties and liabilities under the Act can be changed by the export provisions in the contract.